Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you Sunday. Um, had a good day so far at the gym, got a little work done. About to go relax at the uh, lounge with the guys. Uh, but on the way there, I'm sitting up and I'm thinking and somebody said something on a post that like just, it summates what I've been saying for years, but it does it in a way that was just kind of colorful uh, and unfortunately real and true. Uh, before I get started, I want to remind you, uh, if you believe in the work that uh, myself and the people at the Odyssey Project have done over the years, including Black Men Lead, the uh, Black Empowerment Blueprint 1.0, uh, our think tank, uh, and our research center. If you believe in the work we've done, the work we are doing, and what you think we are capable of doing, we need your support. It's great to talk about it. One of the things that I have noticed during this little Kanye Kyrie thing is we love to talk. We love to talk about things. We love to debate. And we tend to like contention with one another. Uh, it was a couple of things that people popped on and said out of, uh, on posts that I made that were highly intensive with great points and they picked like one point that they could find contention that had actually nothing to do in the grand scheme of the overall message of the post to create a contention and I'm, I'm beyond that I'm, I'm 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 at a point now where i'm not looking to debate you i'm not looking to argue with you if you have a point to make make the point give me something but saying i don't agree is not proof of why you don't agree is you don't agree and i'm gonna give you the right to everybody's got the right to disagree but this entire idea of contention, it's built in us. Now, we'll go hard in the paint on one another, but the people we should truly be contending with, the groups, uh, the organizations, the systems that we should be contending with, we, we, we soft and, 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 and pliable and compliant, but let somebody in our own group say something we don't agree with, and we trying to take their head off. We, we trying to come with everything we got, and it's so, as backwards but anyway kind of leading into what i'm talking about but we need your support we need to do more than talk we need more than debaters uh we need more than lecturers we need people who have ideas that can put those ideas into action that can change futures that's how we're going to empower ourselves by planning to for the future uh it's that simple Sitting up looking for quick fixes, trying to ride the current of the moment is how we got where we are right now. Chasing the American dream, trying to fit in, trying to be accepted, uh, trying to get them to like us. Everything that except building something for ourselves, owning something for ourselves, making some autonomous moves that we are in control of. No. So it's, it's time out for that. And that, that kind of leads into what I'm going to say. And I'm not going to be long because I'm almost where I'm going. Uh, but. Um, I think it was Jeremiah J or J Jeremiah uh, that, that, that chimed in on one of my posts and he said that blacks are the biggest jackpot uh, to every other group except ourselves and it was that simple it was that blunt and it was that succinct and sharp that was the po that was the comment, and the comment carries so much validity. It carries so much weight. It carries so much accuracy, and it is a real colorful summation of what I've been saying for years. Let me explain something to you. When Dr. King told Harry Belafonte, "I uh, I believe we're going to get integration. I believe that we 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 won what we've been fighting for, but I'm afraid." that I've integrated my people into a burning house. What he was saying is, we're giving up a lot and I'm not sure what we're gonna get. Uh, because, let me tell you something, before uh, we start fighting for what we call civil rights, which end up being a fight to integrate and be accepted in their establishments, accepted in their systems, uh, allowed to move in their areas, instead of owning our own and creating power within that, that would have made us valuable. And people, when you become valuable and you become power, you don't have to ask to be allowed to do anything. People will invite you in. And it's not that I'm looking to be invited in, but if I'm gonna be in, it's gonna be because I come with something that they can't take from me. Now, with that being said, Dr. Dr. King understood that's a problem. So he 
literally start realizing what had happened. He had been sort of co co coaxed into being a buffer, getting black people to fight for something that really had no value, integration and exception. Because if the system is designed to serve a certain, certain group of people, saying that I eat at your restaurant doesn't change how I'm operating, how I'm moving, where I'm at on the socioeconomic ladder. It actually serves you better. Why? Now, instead of patronizing black diners, now instead of patronizing black bus companies, now instead of patronizing black cab companies, black uh, cleaners, and all of the other businesses that we already owned before this whole integration idea, instead of doing that, now we're patronizing white businesses. And we end up selling away what we own and that blueprint used by a certain group that doesn't like to be called out that 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 uh blueprint was passed down to asians to arabs to latinos to other groups so now we're the jackpot put your shop up in the black community put your gas station up arabs put your put your liquor store up arabs Put your dry cleaners up, Asians. Put your nail salon up, Asians. Put your taquerias up, Latinos. Everybody is in the black community cashing in on the fact that we don't have no unity. We don't have autonomy. We don't have the capacity or desire to work together. That we are literally bickering and infighting about things that we should be standing firm on even when we don't agree. That's the difference between other groups. It's not that they agree on everything. It's just that we will not allow our disagreements to create cracks and orifices within this structure that gives us power. So we have protocols in place. We have agendas in place. There are certain things we do. There are certain things we don't do. There are certain ways we move and operate. When this happens, this is what goes on. We don't have that. We, everybody knows we are the quick ticket. We are the, as J. Jeremiah, or Jeremiah J., I can't remember which way it was when I read it. Um, but Jeremiah, as Jeremiah was saying, look, we're the jackpot. Everybody knows, set up shop in the black community. Pro, uh, promo, set your ad came, campaigns up to the black community. Set your, your, your sales funnels up to the black community. Set up politicians. Uh, shoot your rhetoric at the black community you don't have to offer them nothing you just have to make them feel good all you got to do is tell them that the other people are racist that word triggers them if you tell them that other people are racist they're not even looking at it they're not verifying it they're not doing their research they're not looking at patterns and, and past records they just don't like that term and if you tell them somebody is practicing that against them they are going all in they're going to get real lathered up and they're going to come out and vote for you and that's what they are doing consistently. They've done it again. They got people fighting over stuff that ain't happening because we don't even read. We don't research. We don't find out. We, what, we haven't sat down with anybody and said, in order to have my vote, this is what I need from you. We haven't sat down. We don't even have an organized enough platform to sit down and say, these are the people who are going to represent us in putting together our blueprint and our agenda. Too, di too discombobulated, too disunified, uh, no desire to work together. Everybody wants their name on it. Everybody wants to be recognized. It's about ego. It's about the assemblance uh, 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 of power, but no real true power. That's what it's about. And because that's what we seek, we want our name on it. We want to be recognized. We want to say the person that did it. We want to, we want to be the person that wrote the bill. We want to be the person that started the organization. We want to be the person. And nobody's sitting up and saying, is it working? What do we need to do? Are we going to be able to do it with that type of approach? No, we're going to have to take a unified approach. The same way that they're moving against us is the same way that we're going to have to stop and overpower or move around or defend ourselves. You're not going to do it on an individual basis where everybody's doing what they want to do, thinking about what they can get. And we make ourselves easy marks, or as Jeremiah put it, as um, make ourselves... Uh, an easy jackpot, an easy win. I have never in my life as an athlete, as a business person, or in a personal confrontation, ever even remotely felt okay with somebody looking at me as an easy win. 
just the idea you think I'm an easy come up or I'm an easy win or you just can beat me is going to make something on the inside of me stand up and want to be the best that I can be and bring the smoke. I might lose, but I won't be an easy win. You're going to have to bring better than a C game and a B game. You're going to have to bring your A game. And you're going to have to be prepared to put in the work because I'm going the distance. And we don't have that as a unified uh, group of people. And it shows and people know it. And they just sit up and they just eat off of us. They eat off of us. They eat off of us. And whenever we seem like we're about to get together, they create something contentious and divisive so that we can argue with one another. And we can fight with one another so that we don't ever come to a point that we do that thing that J. Edgar Hoover said scared the hell out of him. Unify. And on that note, look, I'm out of here. I'm about to get up. I need to relax. I got a long week ahead of me. I had a very long week last week. Uh, thanks for the love, everybody. But again, if you believe in the work I'm doing, if you believe what I'm bringing to you, what I'm doing in the community, the lives I'm touching, uh, the, 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 the assistance helps and programs that we're offering, if you believe in it, we need you to go in the description box, click the link, and give. If you love or prefer Cash App, Cash App information is in there. Let's make it happen. On that note, look, I'm out of here, you guys. Thanks for giving me your time. Have a great one.